video, I encourage you to pause the video and try to solve this problem before you continue watching. And once you unpause the video, we're going to solve it together. In this solution specifically, we're going to employ a few different knowledge areas. We're going to need some knowledge areas from algebra. We're going to need some geometry. So this is like a good intersection of math knowledge. All right. What we're told is that the measure of AOB is twice the measure of BOC. Some of my students have a hard time translating words into mathematical equations. And it's not clear, is it two times AOB equals BOC, or is it AOB equals two times BOC? So here's a trick. Whenever you read a problem where there's like twice as many, there's uh, uh, two more than uh, twice as many, ask yourself, which one is greater? And then write down that um, maybe sign. If this is the number of boys, then it's going to be B that stands for the number of boys. In our case, AOB is the degree. Which one is going to be greater? Write that down and then put an equal sign. And then after the equal sign, take care of the rest. Is it three times greater, two times greater? Is it one fourth? Um, try to um, work with the rest. Let me show you what I mean. So here, measure of AOB is twice the measure of BOC. Which one's greater? AOB is greater. So we're going to write that one first. Angle AOB equals twice times BOC. And then for our, our own um, simplicity, we're just going to say this one is going to be A. So this angle is A, this angle is going to be 2A. Take a look. It looks like this one's going to be A and this one's going to be 2A. Altogether, we're going to have 6A equaling 360 degrees because that's the total number of degrees in the circle. It's fair to say that A is 60 degrees, dividing both sides by six. Now you have everything you need to solve this problem. And now you can use the proportionality of circles formula, where 60 over 360 is equal to what we need, which is the area of a sector, I'm just going to call it x, over the area of a circle. But you may be wondering, Katya, but they didn't tell us what the area of a circle is. You know what the area of a circle is as long as you know a radius. And they give you the radius right here. They say that it is 3. And the area of a circle is pi r squared, which means 9 pi is your area of a circle. Now, what you do is um, if this is a calculator section, so feel free to use your calculator if you want. I prefer to always try to um, rely on my own computational skills. And I know that this... 60 over 360 is going to equal to 1 6. And move my face over a little bit. So now I know that 6x is equal to 9 pi. 9 pi. And therefore, x is equal to 9 pi over 6. And if I simplify, I'm going to get 3 pi over two, which is answer choice D. I really hope this video helped you guys uh, untangle this proportionality of circles, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Also, feel free to rewatch that original explanation that I did. Perhaps right now it will be much easier to navigate it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.